Hello, welcome fellow traders, AMP Futures here presenting another how-to video. In today's video, we're going to demonstrate how to track trading volume using the TradingView platform. Now, having the ability to track trading volume is going to give you an understanding of the liquidity of a market or see how active a particular market that you're trading or maybe interested in trading is. We're going to show you the different methods that you can track volume. Let's get right into it. Now, we're going to go ahead and use for today's example in this idea the copper futures contract, as well as the new CME micro copper futures contract. Now, these are both exchange traded futures contracts that trade on the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. Before we get into the demonstration, I want to show you a couple things. Here's the CME website, the cmegroup.com, that is. The copper futures contract, the contract unit is typically 25,000 pounds, but the micro copper contract, contract unit is about 2,500 pounds. So this is giving you an indication that the micro contract is about 10 times smaller than the full size contract. So essentially, you can see that the tick value for the full size copper is $12.50 per tick, where the micro copper contract is $1.25 per tick. You can also view the margin requirements for these copper contracts directly from the AMP Futures website at www.ampfutures.com. When you get to the home page, make sure you click on Trading Info, and you'll see a submenu labeled Margins. And this will take you to our Margins page where you can view all the available margins for all the instruments that you can trade with AMP Futures as a brokerage firm. You can see, for example, the copper contract full size is about $1,125 per contract for day trading, and the micro copper is $100 per contract. So let's get back to the TradingView platform. The first thing that I want to do first is add both of these contracts into my watch list. I currently don't have them inserted. So let's go ahead and demonstrate how to do that first. So we're going to first open up our watch list. On the top right corner, we want to click the Add Symbol button here. And the exchange symbol typically for the full size copper is HG, but the CQG symbol is CPE. And the active contract month right now is a July contract of 2024. So once we find it, we're going to click this little arrow. And we're going to add it here into our watch list. Now you can see the contract has been inserted. We're going to do the same thing for the micro contract as well. So this is going to be MHG N24, which is the July contract. And we're going to click the plus sign. And now you can see both contracts have been inserted into our watch list. The reason why I want to insert these instruments into the watch list is because there's a way to track intraday trading volume for the current session that you're in within your watch list. And how you do that is you click the settings button here on the top right corner. And then you want to go down and check off where it shows volume. And now you can actually see the total volume traded for the current session that's actively trading as we speak. Now, keep in mind, this is the after hour session, Globex session. There's not a whole lot of trading volume for specific instruments, especially an instrument like copper and micro copper. So there's only been about 267 contracts traded for the full size copper compared to 104 for the micro copper. Now, that's just showing you the volume for the current intraday session that we're in right now. But there's a way that you can track volume depending on your needs. So for example, if you want to be able to track volume, let's say on an intraday basis, or you want to be able to look at it on a daily basis, or even going as far as weekly, quarterly, or yearly, you could track volume by using your data window. So let's go ahead and show you how to do that. So you activate your data window by using the right side panel here. It's the third icon from the top that's labeled object tree and data window. When you click it, by default, it's going to default to the object tree tab. You want to make sure you click the data window tab here. So essentially what this data window is going to allow you to do is view information for a specific candle or bar that you have hovered on your chart. So right now we're currently looking at 15 minute charts for both the full size copper and as well as the micro copper. You can see that currently the chart that's selected is the full size copper contract because you can see the blue box that's currently high highlighted around the copper contract. If I go to the micro by clicking on the micro chart, notice now the blue box is around the micro copper contract. So this is giving me a visual indication that I have that chart selected specifically. Another thing that I would recommend activating as well, if you don't already have it enabled, usually by default, a crosshair is enabled as the cursor type for your charts. Crosshair, as you can see me moving around the charts, you can see there's a timestamp at the bottom. It also lets me know what price level is currently hovered on the chart itself. If for any reason you don't have a crosshair activated, you can turn it on from the left side bar here with the arrow pointing to the right. You do have additional options such as dot and arrow, which will still show timestamps of the, the bottom of the chart as well as the price stamp as well. But I just typically like the crosshair for my own personal preference. All right, now what we're going to do is demonstrate how the data window works. Let's first work off the copper contract here, the full size. And you can see here, if I hover my mouse cursor over this specific candle, it's letting me know all the different metrics and data within the data window for that specific candle. So you can see the open, 
the high, the low, the close, the change, and also total volume. As you can see there, about 1.7 thousand contracts or rounding it off about 1.8. So if I go to a different candle, now you can see different information specific to that candle. In this case, you can see the total volume for this specific candle is 2.7K. Now, what we can do is we can now change the resolution on the chart if you want to be able to see a breakdown for volume based on different resolutions. So, for example, let's switch it to a daily chart. Now, one thing that I also want to show you, which is a really nice feature that TradingView recently implemented, which is what they call volume candles, which is a new chart type that they've introduced into their trading platform. Essentially, what volume candles is going to do, it's going to display fatter candles on the chart. And every time you see a fatter candle, that's letting you know that on that specific candle, there was more trading volume. So it's giving you a visual representation where the volume is. Let's go ahead and activate that right now. We're going to click here on our chart type button in our chart toolbar, and we're going to select volume candles, as you can see here. All right, we're going to do the same thing for micro copper and change this to volume candles. All right, so you can see that if you notice closely, you'll see some candles are fatter than others. And whenever you see that, that's, give, that's basically letting you know that there was more volume on those specific candles. Now let's go ahead and change the time frame of the daily charts instead of an intraday value of 15 minutes. We're going to go ahead and hit here. I want to change this to one day and also change the micro copper to as well as a daily chart. So now if you notice, this, for example, will be May 22nd. The next candle, May 23rd. You can see May 24th, etc. So now I can look at the daily volume on every candle by using my data window and just simply hovering my mouse cursor over in any candle that I see on the chart. So in this case here, you can see on June 7th, total volume was 88,000. All right. Now, if we go back to the previous candle, which is June 6, you can see about 59,000 contracts traded on June 6. Here's on the micro contract. So let's choose. Let's choose a candle that's very narrow. So let's just choose this one here, for example. Let's do this one, actually. This is May 9th. So May 9th, there was about 10,000 contracts. Now I'm going to pick a fat candle because I want to see the difference in volume for a different date. So here in this case, because it's May 22nd. So you can see there's a big bump in trading volume, about 58,000 contracts if like you round it off. Let's use another example. I want to go ahead and change this now to, let's say, a monthly resolution. So let's just go now to one month. And we'll change micro copper as well to one month. So now we're looking at monthly charts. Let's just make this, let's increase the bar spacing just a tad bit. Now keep in mind the micro contract was recently rolled out, so it's not going to have as deep history compared to the full size copper contract, which has been around for many, many years. So just understand that if you're trying to look at micro copper going back a year, you're not going to see any data because, from my understanding, micro copper futures contracts were just rolled out, um, I believe, just, just this year. So you're not going to see beyond when the contract existed, which makes sense. So here's an example going to the full size copper contract. Let's look at this very, uh, let's look at some of the different contract months. So you see here, this is November of, you know, let's do more recent. We'll look at the last three months as an example. Let's do, let's start here. So here's the March calendar month of 2024 calendar year. You can see there was 290,000 contracts traded in the month of March. The next candle, which is the April calendar month, you can see there was a big bump. So basically went from, 290,000 contracts in March, and then going to April, it went all the way to 1.3 million. And then the next calendar month, which was May, 2.3 million. And of course, we're currently in June as we speak, so about 636 contracts traded thus far in the, in the month of June. So you can see for the last three months, volume has been increasing for the full-size copper contracts. So basically from 290 to about 1.3 million to about 2.3 million last month in May. Let's see what Micro did. So we can see here, let's, see, let's use the same example. Let's start in March. So March, you can see there was about barely any volume, barely breaking, you know, right underneath 2,000 contracts total for the month of March. Pretty big bump going into April. See about 52,000 contracts. If you round it off, 53,000. Huge jump looks like in last month in May, which is about 663,000 contracts. And of course, we're still in the calendar month of June. So about 170,000 contracts traded thus far. So you can see that, these copper contracts, it looks like volume starting to increase month over month within the last three months. So as I mentioned in the introduction to this video, having the ability to track volume is going to give you an indication of, of, of how the behavior of the liquidity is for that particular market. You know, you can see whether volume is increasing or decreasing, and you now have different ways that you can track volume. You can use your data window. You can go to your watch list and view intraday volume, and you can also activate the volume candle chart as well, which is a new chart type that TradingView recently introduced. 
this is not going to give you values, but more just a visual. So that way, if you're using it in the manner that I just demonstrated, you can just scroll your mouse cursor to a fatter candle just to see what the total volume was for that particular candle. And this is how you track trading volume using the TradingView platform.